An adult Chinese alligator can grow to be four to five feet long. And Chinese alligators are in trouble because of the biggest problem wildlife faces, and that is loss or destruction of habitat. When we think about big rivers, we think about the Nile in Africa and the Amazon in South America. But there's also that Yangtze River in China. The Bronx Zoo has been one of the world's leaders in saving the Chinese alligators. But tonight you're going to meet a young American alligator. I named this alligator after my favorite lake in Florida. We call him Okeechobee. And I say him, not sure yet whether it's a he or a she. Three years ago, he hatched from an egg. His head was smaller than my thumb. It was long as a hot dog. His first dinner was a fish smaller than a penny. American alligators. When the Spaniards came to Florida in the 1700s, they found themselves meeting alligators. But they actually called them el legarto which in Spanish is the lizard. And I think we can see that because they're fairly similar at a glimpse. When Okeechobee grows up, he could be 10, he could be 11, he could be 12 feet long and weigh 350 or 400 pounds. Although certainly larger American alligators have been captured and observed. If you think this is big, you're right. But if you think it's, it's little, you're right. Can you imagine an African Nile crocodile, let's say 16 feet long, weighing 1,500 pounds? Bigger ones have existed, exist today. A big crocodile can make a big alligator look little. And we know that alligators rarely eat people. It's something that rarely happens. Sadly and tragically, it's Africa's Nile crocodiles that take many more human lives. And part of it is because, of course, life can't exist without water. And most people in the world get water from rivers and lakes, not from bottles, and not from sinks. When I was growing up, I thought alligators were green. And we know they're green on a cartoon and in a picture book. We know they're green when green plants grow on their back. I thought alligators only lived in Florida. If you went fishing or swimming or boating this summer in Maryland, you didn't see an alligator in the wild. Because we know that alligators are not native to Maryland. The weather gets too cold. But they live as close to Maryland as coastal North Carolina. As far south as South Florida as far west as East Texas. When I pick him up, if he starts to move, of course you don't need to. I'm just giving him uh, freedom of movement. A beautiful young American alligator that after an incredibly long day <laughs> is ready for the pool. He's definitely ready for his pool. If we put him near his mom or dad, he looks tiny. If we put him near a hatchling, a baby alligator, he looks big. This is not a regular part of my program. It's something you might never see on Discovery Channel. Reptiles, of course, have no manners, and I will take care of the floor. I have great cleaning skills. From my perspective, it's actually shaped like Koki, Chobi. <laughs> Big alligators eat medium, and medium alligators eat small. <laughs> they eat fish, and they catch birds. We know they eat venomous snakes. And the bigger they get, the bigger their dinners can be. This alligator's mom or dad could jump out of a lake, grab an adult deer, and pull it under. His parents have never seen a picture of a deer. But a big African Nile crocodile mom or dad can jump out of the river, 
grab a 600 pound Cape Buffalo and pull it under. And that's the difference. That's the difference because one of the reasons alligators typically don't go after people, people on the land, is because we walk on two feet. And I'm convinced it's our height that discourages them from attempting to have us for dinner. There have been almost 30 fatalities in Florida since records have been kept. An alligator, what they call a tax, where a person's hand or a person's leg is grabbed, certainly that is more frequent. But when you have to wash your laundry at the river, when you bathe in the river, when you scoop water from the river, when you're on your knees especially doing these things, that height is gone, but really isn't a factor to one of the big Nile crocodiles. If you gently rub his stomach, soft and pleasant to touch, if you rub his back, you're gonna feel those bumps in his back that are called osteoderms. They give him great physical protection, and perhaps you noticed the shape of the tip of his snout, how rounded it is. I know this sounds so silly, but if the tip of his snout is pointy, if it's tapered, if his head is shaped like a thin slice of pizza, uh, then there's a good chance it's a crocodile. Certainly the more I handle him, the less he is afraid. And the less he is afraid, the less he feels the need to bite. But no matter how much we love them and how well we care for them, we know that they are always wild animals. In the 1960s, it became clearer than ever that America's alligators were in trouble. But not because of loss of habitat, which is true for the Chinese alligators. People all over the world want an alligator skin. And in 100 years, perhaps 5 million American alligators were killed for their skin. The Chinese alligators were fortunate because they have something in their skin that doesn't make for fine leather products. But close to 1970, it became against the law to buy them or sell them or hunt them or kill them or catch them or keep them. And we know today they're back. Florida has about 1.5 million alligators. Louisiana, a little more than a million. Maybe the biggest alligators come from Louisiana or live there. And Texas grows the smallest. But most people in Florida will probably tell you there's too many alligators. And one person in Florida told me he thought there were too many people. But alligator biologists will tell you that alligators don't have the room they used to have because we continue to build more roads and highways and airports. American alligators are among the few species of wildlife that is no longer threatened or endangered because of conservation and education and law enforcement. What do most alligators do when they are in water and they see a person on the land? Usually they shut their ears, they close their nostrils, they put their clear goggle-like eyelids on, and pretty much quietly disappear underwater. But we know that younger people don't have the height adults have. And certainly it's little people near water after dinner, even with a dog. Because after we have dinner at night, of course, that's when they want their dinner. And we know how difficult they can be to see in the water they know what time animals come and bend to drink. They know what pass they take. He's a beautiful young American alligator. He will never ever um, be this little again. And actually, before I put him back in the box, would you like to say, see you later, alligator? <laughs> because tonight it would actually have some meaning. A beautiful, young, American alligator.